everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a look at the RFX um, Avengers Marvel Now Iron Man. Um, so this guy is really, really cool. Um, he goes with the other series, the other figures that I've reviewed in the past for the RFX um, line. And uh, again, they all have their custom boxes and code of a key or artifacts, whoever, whatever. Um, they use their actual product as their um, marketing pictures. So they don't actually like do any scenes from the movie or any of the comic books, which I think is neat that they use their actual own product. Um, obviously in the back of the box behind it, you can tell that like there's like comic books, uh, comic book scenes, which really makes it look neat. Here's the back here. And then you can get all the Avengers um, and then you also have the option of getting the dark looking Iron Man right here. The one I have obviously is just the normal colored one. And then there's the bio there. And then you've got a couple poses that Iron Man can make. Here's some on the side. This one, I think it's still the actual, the actual model. They've just enhanced the coloring on it. Um, but there's Kotobukiya and then Marvel Now in the corner. Marvel Now is in very large letters on the top there. Um, so yeah, let's get into this figure or the statue. Um, so these are snapped together. They just come apart and, and the pieces, legs, arms, head, and torso, I believe. And he does come with a magnetic base, the square magnetic bases. However, the way this is displayed, I don't have access to remove it right now. And so I figured I would just review him as is because it's not too big of a difference. Um, so very streamlined Iron Man, as you can tell. I don't know what mark this is. Um, especially with it being, I think it's comic based, so who the heck would know. Um, I think that the detailing on it is very nice. Um, the um, piece in his chest is painted in a glowy, glowy colors as are the ones on the legs. And then of course on the arms. Um, I think he's got a really good face and I like his action pose. Like, so he's standing like this, or you could have him tilted like this. Um, I think it looks really, really neat. I really like these guys. Obviously the Iron Man is not going to have as much detail as some of the others because it is a metal suit so you don't get like the really finite details. Um, it does have like of course all the plates though that make his knees work and bend which is really cool. Um, and then it's got some more detailing I guess on the head a little bit. But he looks really, really cool. Um, they're actually coming out with a new, a, a new line of these uh, Kotobukiya figures, like um, old school, like Cyclops, and I think like Wolverine and stuff. So whenever those come out, we'll be getting those, and um, you'll probably see reviews on them. They're not out until like August, I don't think, or maybe September. Um, but when those come in, if we do get those, definitely will be on review. But I just want to give you guys a look at this guy. I think he looks pretty good. The colors look great. The detailing looks great. Whatever detailing there is um, and I think it's a, a really nice solid piece you can definitely display these off of the bases and they most of them stand up really well he does have magnets on his feet but looks really really good I've always been impressed with their work um, both Star Wars and Marvel so I'd really like to I've seen them I've seen a little bit um, it's like the artifacts it's like Yoda Dagobah Yoda and and R2 and they're and he's dirty and I really want that set to get Barnes and Noble. That's usually the place that I can find these guys at. You can also order them online. A lot of times you can find them at comic book stores as well. So, but anyways, here's this guy. Um, let me know what you think of him in the comments below. Um, I think he's a really cool piece. I can't remember how much we paid for him. It wasn't terrible. I think they ended up being clearance or something. Um, but yeah, so super cool. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. And as always, stay tuned for more videos. So thanks guys. Bye.